Why, hello guys, and welcome back to... Oh, that, that's kind of weird. I'm going to take him back. Welcome back to KSP the Modded Noob, where we are now going to send a man to the moon. I think this is the first time that anyone has gone to the moon and actually landed, so... That's what we're going to try and do with a very overbuilt craft that I couldn't figure out any other way of doing because I put a lot of stuff on this. I have Keythane, he's a wanna have Keythane, Solar Particle Collectors, Science Goo, one junior unfortunately, not two, uh, and a mag- How can I not pronounce this? Magnetometer, boom. Yeah, and a drill, obviously, and then a whole bunch of solar panels, and then the main stage. And this thing does get to the outer atmosphere, I will assume that it gets to orbit, but I know it gets to the outer atmosphere at most, or at least, so. Yeah, it will work. Although it does flip out at uh, the when I have to ditch these kind of homemade boosters, I guess. Oh well, it works. So I guess we will launch as soon as it decides to load. There we go. I don't want the clock. Wait for everything to load in. Damni Kerman. I'm gonna call him Damni, not Dan Me, because I like Damni better. That's why I picked him. Let's launch. I'm gonna take a little bit. There we go. Oh, I want it going faster. There we go. And now we just launch. Now the reason why I have the um oh let's, let's turn the wrong way. No, let's turn the wrong way. God damn it. I have to fix those later. Uh reason why I have these type of rockets in here and these type out here is that even I think I said this in the last episode, but I'm gonna say it now. These have one degree of gambling, where these only have 0.25, even though these have more thrust, so I put them in the middle, then I surround them with these boosters. I wouldn't normally need the boosters if I just put them in here, but I like the boosters. And it saves on fuel, so. I think, I don't know. I don't really care about figuring that out. So, yeah, we're just gonna let this launch. Uh, now, one reason why I like this game, but I also hate it, is because I don't do anything. Like, I'm not touching my keyboard at all, so. Yeah, I can just sit here and watch this thing go. It's kind of like a simulation than anything else, but eh, it's fun. Oh crap, I forgot to do it. Uh, okay, I'm going to add your revert just because of the daytime. I'm going to make your viewing experience a little better than have that launch continue. Yeah, that's a smart idea. I already got one comment saying that I should do this, so... Which I agree, I agree. It's not that I, I hate the comment. I'm actually glad that he commented that because I had no notice of this whatsoever. So, I, well, I had it probably had a notice, so I didn't think of it because I genuinely like to launch at night. I don't know; it's more atmospheric. But come on, can I get daytime? There we go. Okay, launch. Come on, I want SAS. There we go. I don't know how low I can go without it stopping to accelerate. Okay, still accelerating. Okay, we're good. We're good there. I like a very slow acceleration at first because if I go too fast through this atmosphere, I will just flip. I want to go a little faster than that. There we go. Basically, if you're under mock when you get to here, you're good. Like the, the lighter, the darker blue. Not this dark, but this dark, yeah. Thanks. So yeah, we're taking Damni Kerman. We have enough... Oh, I forgot about the reaction wheel. We have enough fuel, or, um... Life support for 170 days. So... Well, that's 170 Kerbal days. Which is what I have it set to, but we have 170 Kerbal days. And electricity is just... Yeah, I have too many solar panels. So... Yeah, we're not gonna run out of that, so it's fine. And besides, it doesn't really matter, because it's not a probe. So, we have more than what we can need. Uh, how much electricity does this have? 250. And yet, the Sputnik has 10. Or State Putnik. I always call it a Sputnik. It's a State Putnik. These, I don't know, like, they, they add a little bit of time, but I genuinely don't see the point of them. But, oh well. Like, these little tiny fuel things, yeah. Getting these to line up was actually kind of hard because 
If I put a third one in here, they would all just mess up, because this one would be inside this one, if there was three, so I had to make it two. Yeah, I, I took about an hour to build this thing. It's kind of annoying, but oh wait. That's what you get for playing this game. And overbuilding. I also put the uh, life support out here. Which I don't get how he gets it, but oh well. Yeah, so it, they're out there. Which is fine. <clears throat> Although I forgot to put the reaction wheel underneath the chute. I can't wait for the bigger reaction wheel because it actually helps, so. Yeah. Now this thing should maintain control until. Oh, we're going through a storm cloud until we ditch the boosters then it will flip so i have to turn off the engine and i guess i can just raise the thrust i haven't tried that but it's in the uh kind of lower action i called it the lithosphere last episode so that's what i'm going to call it the lithosphere so oh i forgot the timer Ugh, i always do this I, I like to be 20 minute episodes and then i forget to do it i need a timer that actually just goes when i hit f um, numpad 9, because that's the record key that I have. Uh, what fuel are we on? Oh, we're on the last fuel. Actually, we're, we're not that far up, but we're already at the last fuel. What? Crap, that's not good. We had a lot, I had a lot more fuel before. Come on, iPod, work, I want to start timer. There we go. Uh, this isn't looking good. It worked before, I swear. I don't know why I'm having this problem now. I got all the way up to here with just these engines, or with the uh, boosters, so that's a little annoying. Unless I just wasn't paying attention and actually can get that far with this amount of fuel, but I don't know. We'll see. I just like checking the heat up this parachute at negative degree celsius, so it's fine. Where's the curb? Well, sun. No mun. East, so that way. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, we actually should have enough fuel. Never mind. I'm, per I'm paranoid. It's fine. We have local control, and this will pop in eventually, just randomly. I have the... <clears throat> See, I wanted the Keythane drill just because I know I'm going to waste a lot of fuel trying to land. These, this thing is kind of awkward to land, so I decided, eh, that way I will definitely have enough fuel to get home. It's fine. Overcautious. What I want next is the bigger engines, because then it'll make this easier, and then I can do more missions. So, yeah. That is my goal. Okay, we're not getting up there, but we're getting okay. So I'm gonna raise the thrust. And I'm raising the thrust so that the gimbling works better. Come on, keep me on course. You can do it. Don't overflip me. Come on. That's eh, good enough. Actually, I guess I have my gravity turn now. Since I'm in this predicament. Okay, gravity turn. Since I'm starting to get into what I call the lithosphere. I'm going to call this a lithosphere, so if you guys don't know what the lithosphere is, it's just this. I'm going to be doing that from now on because just easier because I don't actually know. I will, eh, I probably won't look it up. If you guys know what that is called, then let me know. I'm just, I, I just assume it's a little sphere. So, yeah. And now we're going to try and get to an orbit. Still can't see the moon. It's on the other side of the planet? Yes. Oh, I actually have some key thing here. That's pretty cool.
I don't know why this is still down here. I'm trying to figure out which way I should look to face this because that actually helps. Okay, I'm facing the right way. Good. control when the engines are off apparently. That's not good. Awesome. Um, so I just leave it like that. Actually, that's good. I mean, a little bit pointed up, and then actually, yeah, I don't want to do a little bit pointed up. I want to be exactly on the horizon. There we go. And now just the wait for this thing to get into an orbit. Although we're running out of fuel on this main stage, and I might have to go to my little boosters here, but that's fine. A what? What? Crap. I'm going at a polar orbit. Oh. That is not what I want. Uh, yeah, that shouldn't be a polar orbit, should it? Oh yeah, it is. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Turn, turn, turn. I want to go down. I want to go down. I want to go down. No, 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 no. I know this is tedious, but that's what I want to do because I want to get in not a polar orbit. That's not how you do things. Well, I'm going down. I should probably hurry up. There we go. Probably less fuel efficient, but I don't need as much fuel now. Crap, I need to go up. I think I just butchered this whole mission. I'm going toward the ground. Uh, crap. That's not good. I don't even know how I got into a polar orbit, to be honest. Uh, okay, I'm going to save myself. Going this way. Oh my god, I'm actually saving myself this time. I think I might be saving myself. Ever so slowly. Oh god. I'm actually re-entering now. Uh, oh. It's slowing down. Well, we're going to go into a very awkward orbit, but it's fine. And we're using a lot of our fuel. This is not good. I think I might have to re uh, retry this. Uh, we'll, we'll see, but it looks like that. Come on, 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 come on. Get into an orbit. It looks like we might be able to. I hate how the clouds are all pixely still. <laughs> Come 
yes, 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 yes. What? What? Where is it going? Oh! Oh no! No, we're hitting the atmosphere. No, 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 no. Oh. This is not good. What they did? No, that's slowing us down. Well then. Yeah, I've lost it. It's so laggy all of a sudden. Is there any way of saving this at all? Maybe there is. Nope, that's not saving it. Wait, maybe if I do this. Come on. I just want to save it. I just want to save it. I just want to save it. Oh, God. Maybe I can swing myself around. Nope. Cut. Well, I butchered it. I'm just going to deal with it myself. <sighs> yeah, that's annoying. Oh my god, this is so laggy. <laughs> I'm just trying to slow myself down. I'm going to attempt this again. This is, might be another longer episode, but I can't really help that. Well, that was a complete another fail just because I tried to readjust my orbit. Yay! Well, I'm probably going to then uh, cut here, and then when, after I land this thing, I guess, we can resume. So yeah, I'm going to put some more editing onto me. Yay! And we're about to touch down. I was going to collect some science, but of course, I had that detach, so I didn't get the science. But oh well. That is fine. So, yeah, on... Oh, I forgot to... Crap, I don't know how long this video is now because I didn't stop the timer either. Oh, it's been five minutes, so I'll just track five minutes. I think I've been... I think it took five minutes. Um, just quickly, I am going to add... Gee, how can this be added? Equipped. Well, I can add to them. No, I'm not going to do uh oh. Ah, oh, I see why. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. And then I'm gonna put ooh, what's that? Life support, so I want waste. That is not equal. That's gonna bug me. I wish you could symmetry things that aren't the same. Or just like, have a central point and put stuff around it. Instead of having it where... Oh, come on. Okay. Hold on. Let me do this first. Like, you tell it to only symmetry onto one object. And then have that be coded everywhere. So like, I put the solar panel here and here. So here, it will go all the way around, and all the way around these. I don't know. 
Christ, that'd be cool. Close enough. Okay. Just a little tweak. And I didn't change. Oh my god, I'm failing today. Oh, god damn it. Okay, gotta make a quick correction. Because I don't want to take Joe, but I want to take my guy. Although, when I see Sean Kerman, then I'll be happy. I wish that if you save, you can keep the guy, but I don't know. That, that's kind of pointless. Or at least, don't default the Jebediah. Let me pick who I want, and then say, keep him. I don't know. Be nice. Yeah, I'm in. And now we can finally launch again. Oh god, the lag. It's lagging. <laughs> I wonder why. I genuinely do not know, so I wish I knew. Uh, now we get to watch this thing launch again. Yay! I don't honestly know what to do because, yeah. Come on. <sighs> Let's just hope that it doesn't fail this time. Accelerate going up. Oh, look at the clouds. <sighs> I'm trying to keep my engine or these booster things as long as possible if I can. So I'm throttling them down just ever so slightly. I don't understand how the reaction wheel works. Because if it has a ring, then if it flows to one side, wouldn't the ring go this way? Oh, I guess because it would launch back. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Never mind. I figured it out on my own. I can be an idiot sometimes. Because that's a really easy concept to figure out. We're still running at about a G. It's pretty cool. Just kind of chillaxing. Still going out. Do I the Last, yep, we're halfway through the last one. So we're a little bit less than a quarter. Because if you, you have to include this one. A quarter with, a, a quarter? A quarter without that. That's a quarter with it. A quarter, yes. I am smart. Yeah, it's kind of hard to commentate this because you're just kind of watching this thing go. So, I mean, yeah. Okay, well, we're about to ditch these. It's, I still got it up to here before I ditched these before. I don't know what happened that I changed it or something, but now it doesn't. So, I don't know. I 
I'm manually doing this because there. Oh god, I might have screwed it up. Oh, I screwed it up. Oh wait. Nope. Oh, I'm going too fast. Oh no. As long as my rotation's right, I should be good. I'm gonna do a gravity turn while I'm still kind of out of control. And because I'm in the lithosphere now, so yeah. And this way, we're going to actually go on to a 90 degree equatorial orbit, which is nice. Well, not necessarily because, as you'll see in a sec, oh, yep, that's showing it. The prograde marker is kind of under us, so that's a little annoying, but actually I can change it by doing this. It's fine. I want the Apple apps to go away from us, thank you very much. You can tell here because it was going down, so then they go up. Yeah. Okay, I want you to be there. Wait, what you do is you, if you have it where you want it, you just hit one of the direction keys just so that it knows to go there. It's kind of a weird system, but yeah. I don't know why I'm giving you tips. I'm the modded noob, but oh well. go down a little bit. I'm not going to use the uh, alarm clock. I'm just going to do this by ear. I don't know why people say by ear. You're not doing it by ear. You're doing it by eyes. Just saying. Okay, I want it. Okay, no. Stay up. There. So since he's of lower thrust, I would go to Apoas right now, but since I have very low thrust, I'm not going to. So I can do this. There. So now I want to get into an orbit without using too much fuel, hopefully. And hopefully I don't go back into the atmosphere. That would be bad. I am coming to Apple Apps in 25 seconds, so I want to be roughly at an orbit before then. I think uh, orbital velocity is about 2,300 meters per second down here. I'm not sure. I don't know. Oh yeah, because the orbits the equator, the, uh, the, the core instead of the surface. Which I don't get. That's kind of pointless, but well. I don't know. I think that's kind of a point. He, so, I guess he has a rotation, though. That would make it not useless. I don't know. Okay. To bring this down. Is now that the apple is getting higher. Okay, now I'm going to cut engines and do the rest at apple ups. Just because it saves on fuel. There we go. Now I just need to get into an actual orbit, which is at 50, I'm at 50, 60, 70, there we go. I'm technically in an orbit, but I'm gonna go a little bit higher, 75, there we go. Okay, so now I got a really odd 
almost circular orbit, but not quite. Where's the moon? The moon's over there. So if I burn, say, here. Well, it'll only take me a minute. That's good. I'm good with this. Alright, so I will point at the number for node. And add to maneuver. And now this will take me to the maneuver. I can check my life support. Life support's still good. Awesome. Yeah, this is gonna be a really long episode. <laughs> Whoops. I might cut it when I get to the money counter. Because yeah. I didn't did I put batteries on this? I just realized that. No, I didn't. Oh. Whoops. I really should have. I have enough of electrical charge to handle this. So I don't use too much electrical charge, so. That maximum thrust for a minute. I have enough fuel for this though. Uh I should. Yeah, I should. It doesn't take that much fuel to get down, I don't think. Limit it a little bit. I think you should account for the thrust that you're doing, but oh well. I'm gonna conserve as much as possible because if you, apparently if you um, limit your thrust then you get more fuel out of, you get more delta V out of your fuel. I'm not sure about that, but I'm going to do it anyway. I know it's dark and I'm sorry, but I kind of need to do this at the dark side, so I'll let you see this view. Guess that would help. So yeah, we're going to get a pretty low down mun periaps too, that's pretty good. <laughs> just waiting. That's all I'm doing, just waiting. Almost there, 13 seconds away, 12, 11, that's not seconds, 10 Mississippi, nope, 9, er, let me try it, 8 Mississippi, 7, no, it's definitely not, <laughs> because I have my thrust a little bit lower, although we're almost there, want to see the encounter, I'm going to stop burning, there, Lower. There we go. That's good. Uh, okay, that's good enough for me. So now let's go over there. Awesome. I just want to get into the influence of the mun. Okay, now I want to add maneuver for periaps. And what I'm going to do is just decrease my orbital velocity. I don't know why it's showing this. Uh, Is it showing? The heck? I'm gonna fix that in a minute. Uh, just want to get into an actual stable orbit. Roughly circular, but it doesn't really matter. It's not just gonna be landing, but 
it's fine. I'm gonna need to do this later anyway, because I'm going to want to land somewhere. Preferably near Keithane, because I'll need it. I have enough fuel to land, so it's fine. Come on. Uh, I might actually get it really low. That way I'm going even slower. Let's get to about 150. Now 100. Because that way I can just limit this and it'll be even slower. And then it'll save on fuel later. I don't know. That's just my thought process. Actually, it was a lower. These are hardly using any fuel doing this. 30's good. Okay, now do we have all those glitches we do? Uh, it's these two. Why do I have this glitch? Oh, well, we're going to be flying with this for now on. Uh, I want to go now to Periaps again. The new Periaps. See, here Electro Charge doesn't matter, whereas the satellite, it really did. Okay, um, just want to quickly do this. No, I want to go down. Both there. That way I'm in a complete uh, patch. I assume I should just start burning. Now I can just get roughly around the Keithane patch. Oh god, my fuel. Uh, I didn't notice that. My fuel's actually really, really low now. Uh huh. Oh, and we're landing on the dark side. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna put landing gear now. Put it landing gear, put it landing gear. I don't have lights. Put it landing gear now. Okay, I need to orient myself in a way where it makes sense. Uh, okay, looking at it like this makes sense. I'm not gonna make this, am I? I'm gonna kill my Kerbal. I'm gonna kill my Kerbal. I'm actually going to do it. I'm gonna kill my Kerbal. Because I genuinely do not have enough fuel to do this. I don't have enough fuel. And... They're gone. Well... That was a fail and a half. <sighs> well, I guess I hope you enjoyed that horrible, horrible attempt. I'm gonna have to rethink that. I've been Yoshi King 4, and goodbye.